everyone. So just to let you guys know, this is gonna, probably going to be a long video. So let's get started. As you can see, I have another package that just came in. What's probably in that package? Well, it's probably going to be the colored versions of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's right. The black and white ones are right near me. Why? Well, because I have them stand, standing up guarding my laptop. Anyway, enough about that. Let's go ahead and open this and see what's inside. And this is straight from the Mirage, Mirage Publishing Company. Why? Because that's where you can order it from. That link that I put up from my video a while back, yeah, that's where you can go ahead, order it, and get your own. Now that I can open this, that's right, there's no bloopers here. If there is, I probably won't put them on, but... Let's just put it like this. The other ones weren't nearly as difficult to open as this one is. And before I open it entirely, we're going to talk a little bit more about this. Why? Because this one's special. I hope. So I'm crossing my fingers. Let's see what comes from this. All right. And here we have paper. And finally, we have this. Now, there is something different. If you can see, it's right here. What is that? That is the signature of Peter Lair and a sketch. That looks amazing. Very, very amazing. Now, before I continue with this, let me go ahead and show you this. This is what I got when I went to Comic Con. And I went ahead, Kevin Deans didn't sign it. As you can see, I still have it. It's not on eBay. Here we go, body count. Look, sketch and signed, Kevin Eastman, not on eBay. Look, Turtles, the Arto biography. Go through a couple pages and look, signed and sketched, not on eBay. And I also want to use a reference that when the Wii first came out, tape, when the Wii first came out, and they were doing the uh, midnight release in New York. The first person who went and got his Wii got it signed by, um, I guess the, what, the creator, the CEO of Nintendo, I guess, was there, and he signed it. And what the first thing this kid did, he held it up and said, "I'm not putting this on eBay." So I guess there's, <laughs> there's one thing that I've noticed is that the more valuable things are, the more likely people are going to put it on there. To, on eBay to get money. When the 360 came out, guess where everyone did? They bought it. Not for themselves, no. They bought it and put it on eBay to get money. When the PS3 came out, everyone bought it to sell it. When I was working at GameStop, probably all the ones that we sold, maybe 80% of them we got back because they didn't sell on eBay. How do we know? Trust me, we know. Now then, with this, see that signature? Lots of people who go to Comic Con, I know that when they buy this and when they get mm -hmm. signed by someone, that they are probably going to keep it. But there is a small percentage of people who buy this because, and they'll get signed by Peter, Peter Lair and Kevin Eastman because they know it's worth something, and they'll put it up there and sell it <laughs> just for that purpose. They don't care about Ninja Turtles. They just want to sell it and make money because they know that everyone else is going to buy it or want to buy it. And that's where they're going to check up the prices and make a profit off of this. Well, I keep scraping that up around there. This, I'm not going to sell on eBay. Now you're going to say, well, of course you're not. Right. How do we know? Let's open this up. 
want you guys to see that I'm actually opening this thing up. Okay, we put it sideways so you can actually see that this knife is actually in here. Okay. Open just like that. Just to show, yes, the signature is still there. I am actually opening this. Let's go ahead and slide these guys out. Okay, and here they are. Ninja Turtles. They kind of look like uh, they remind me of um, I don't know why I'm thinking Frankenstein because they're stuck like that, frozen. They're not. They look like they could come to life, but they're not yet. Yeah, that doesn't look awesome. And of course, it's the actual box open with the signature still on it, which means I can't sell it on eBay. I would never sell it on eBay, but I can't. Because I don't know anyone who would actually buy something that's open with a signature. Most people want something that's brand new, mint condition, stuff like that. But you know what? I'm not selling it. I don't care if you offer me $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, 4000 It does not matter to me. I'm with $1,000, I'll take it. <laughs> and that's my mom. And you know what? I'm taking a picture of this open. Why? Show proof. This thing is actually open. One thing that I did, and the reason that I actually opened it in front of you, is to show you what <laughs> what it's like to actually try to take one of these guys out because they're actually held in by the uh, there we go plastics, the ties. There's two here, one here, one up here by the neck, which is feels a little strange to me because you're technically choking them. The weapons are held in by tape and sometimes they're held in by the plastic ties as well. But most of the time it's held in by, uh, there we go, by tape, like that. Alright. Now one of the main reasons why I am opening this and showing them is because it turns out that a lot of people were ordering them and requesting uh, requesting them to be signed, which I think is okay, but there was one problem with this. People were just requesting them and then taking them and putting them on eBay, just like that, which means they're making a profit. Well, that's not what Mirage, the Mirage Company is all about. You know, if you want it signed by this particular person, in this case Peter Lair, the co-creator of Ninja Turtles, you should want it for yourself, not to make a quick buck. Okay? These things alone cost around $50. And I think they're well worth it. And to have it signed by Peter Lair is amazing. It truly is. Because this is straight from the co-creator. I mean, that's something that's going to last a lifetime with me. Um, when I have kids, I can show them the box. I can show them the action figures. I can show them everything that came with it. And show them how I didn't sell it and how it's worth so much more than just a few thousand dollars. It's not going to sell for a thousand. I've seen what they sell for on eBay. Yeah, it's definitely not going to sell for a thousand. One thing I wish is that these ties would be a little more easier to take off. I mean, this one right here is just taking forever. I feel like they don't want to let go of their legs. But, yeah. Anyway, I'm making this video because I want to show them that this is an open product. That I'm opening it and showing them that I'm not putting this on eBay, that I'm keeping it for myself. <laughs> and if this tie will ever let go of the action figure, finally. <laughs> yeah. So this is what I've been waiting for. This is really, really amazing. It is. Very amazing. 
Anyway, um, I am going to show this and send them a link of this product being opened. This video, in fact, I'm going to send to them. Why? Because it's cool. Okay. Now, here we go. Now, look, I got Michelangelo out. How can you tell since they're all wearing red and they all have the same belt? Well, you we can tell by what's next to them. Well, you can also tell later on by their faces. But you got Raphael because the size are right next to them, and you have Michelangelo. The nunchucks are right next to them. There are no ties here. I took them all out. But there is a problem. They're a little difficult to get out. Now. Getting one of them out takes some work. But there you go. Michelangelo. In color. Which looks pretty awesome, actually. Let's see. Let's see him. Let's go ahead and take. There you go. Just about the same. I mean, yeah, the head's tilted funny. It's different, but... <laughs> How strange. We have them both right next to each other. But, yeah. So there you go. Oh, his feet are huge. I never noticed that. Sure, his, his hands and everything, they look fine, don't they? But then you look to his feet and you're like, wow, those are big. Anyway, I guess it's to help keep them balanced. <sighs> so here we are. Just took one out of the four out. I don't want to see the rest of them. Well, I mean, that'd be awesome. But you see how much effort it took to actually get him out just by taking these plastic ties off? It, it does become a little bit of a hassle. And check out the background. Let's move him to the side. That's pretty cool. That is amazing. You could almost build a set off of this. Almost. I mean, it is a little flat, but that's really amazing. That's quite amazing. And of course, the other one, the black and white one that I do have. Yeah. In fact, I'm not even sure if the black and white one, if these are in color, if they're just black and white. But, um, yeah, there you go. That's amazing. Yes. Again, I'm still in shock here, okay? Because I just opened this. It's not like I had time to rewrap everything, tape it all up to pretend to reopen it. No. This is me actually opening it and sharing it with you. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, I know probably not too many of you guys are into the... Well, I wouldn't just say into Ninja Turtles, but... Maybe you guys are into other things, and Ninja Turtles, you know, it's there, but maybe it's not your total fascination. Maybe you guys are into comic books or action figures or things like that. But if you guys were to get something signed, let's say like Ninja Turtles, let's say you got to meet Stanley, let's say you got to meet Peter Laird, Kevin Eastman, um, someone from DC, and you have them sign something that you valued a lot. Would you put it on eBay? Or would you hold on to it for yourself? That's my question. Feel free to leave a comment. Even if you don't really collect anything, Let's say all this comic book stuff isn't really your style. Think about CDs, movies. Let's say you saw Lady Gaga walking down the street and you had to sign your CD. Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, any one of them. It's always one of these. Give me trouble. Show you. 
This is all the uh, plastics that you have to take off of these turtles. That can be a little bit of a pain. Take them out for now. Why well, open this? For the rest. Anyway, I'm probably gonna open just two of them. I thought I'd be a little quicker at this, but no, you just have to have patience. A lot of patience. I I know it sounds like I'm destroying them, but it's just a plastic making a lot of noise. A lot of noise. So anyway, um, what do you guys think of Ninja Turtles in general? I know, 25 years and they've come out with these and I think it's really, really amazing. Even though it is based on the Mirage Ninja Turtles, I still think it's pretty crazy. Yes, I grew up watching the uh, cartoon series. I think you can, that goes without saying, even though I could say it. But, um, yeah. What do you guys think of Ninja Turtles? You think it's um, Asus Prime? You think it's only for kids? What do you guys think? Oh, there you go. Let's bring out Raphael. As you can see, their facial expressions are a little differently, and so is your body structure, I think, from what I can tell. It's slightly different, too. Anyway, yes, their facial expressions are slightly different, and also their bandanas are different as well. The way they are, basically. Now, unlike Donatello, I'm not going to break any belts on here. I'm going to try to keep these guys in pretty good shape. Okay. Let's go ahead and move Raph out of the way for now. So there we go. We have two out of four out. Now I know probably you guys are getting bored. Probably. So I am gonna end it right now. I know this right I know it was gonna this this was gonna be a long video, but I'm deciding to cut it short because seeing how difficult it is to take them out. And I guess I forgot because it's been a while since I've actually taken out the other ones. But this is truly amazing. And if Peter Lair is watching, I wanted to say thank you. And also to Katie. Uh, she's the one who's I was emailing back and forth about this and that's where she brought to my attention about people uh, ordering these and asking to get signed and then people would actually put them on ebay which which i think actually does suck because you're not doing it for yourself you're not doing it because you love ninja Charles. you're doing it because it's an easy way to quick to make a quick buck and i think that really sucks it does so in the meantime uh, i will talk to you guys later Hope you guys are all doing well. So take care. Uh, have a good night. And if you live in California and you're somewhere in the Montebello area, Monterey Park, it is going to rain. I'm not sure for how many days, but it's going to rain. Okay, well, I guess that's going to be it for now. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care.